Hey everybody, it's Saturday and uh, this is fitting number two after I did some trimming um, of the canopy, so it's fitting a lot better. There's still some trimming I need to do. And in here, you'll kind of get a better view, hopefully, of what needs to be done here. But you can see how this is wanting to be tapered out, right? So it looks like I got to trim some more back in here to get that one, an angle that's deep enough. And then same thing on this side, though it's a much better fit here already. You can see that. And then over here, still got a gap. I can't get it all the way down yet. I've got to trim a little bit more off and it's still pretty snug. And uh, did a little damage here, but also this gap is pretty high. And if you can see through here, you can see that on the other side, the fiberglass is actually hitting pretty much the, uh, the support. And so therefore I'm guessing I'm gonna to have to take some off there too. So I'm thinking right now I'll probably take, you know, I don't wanna, even though it looks like a fair bit here, maybe maybe a little more than a quarter of an inch, I'm only gonna take off maybe an inch, uh, an eighth and uh, see how that fits. And especially because <clears throat> if we go over here, you'll see the gap pretty much the same as the other side. But as you get back further, the gap disappears and it's gone. And so what you don't want to do is trim that because that looks like a pretty good fit. Though the one thing that is uh, a little bit, I'm not sure about yet, is this. Uh, I, think, I think I'm gonna have to trim a little more back here because it's hitting, with, it's interfering with this support. So I'll have to look at that as well, but I won't do, I won't do that until uh, until I get a little more trimming done and uh, see if I can't get it to fit even better. And then on this side, I'll sit here. Yeah. it's still got a ways to go to get fitted. So before I trim anything on the top, I want to make sure it's good down here. Anyway, just figured I'd share this with you. And uh, I'll share another one once I get some more trimming done. Cheers. Okay, here we have it. This is test, real test fitting number four. Uh, along the back here, it's looking pretty good. It's nice and snug, which is what I want. Here in the back, it's pretty close, but as you get further up, it's, uh, it's got a little bit of a space here. So I think I need to cut off more of the bottom along here, All right? And, you know, go along here. By the way, just in case anyone's doing this, you know, it's still really snug to put on here for me. And, uh, I don't know, I don't think I want to cut any more out of this. It's looking pretty thin already. So, uh, I think it might be just tight in a couple of spots. And then this here, if you can see that, there's where I've got it cut on an angle. Filed. I need to go clean that up <clears throat> and then the other side same thing on an angle it's looking pretty good I think and then down on the bottom and this gaps a little wider I think but not much so again now it's a matter of cutting this down getting that lip really flat I guess up to the bottom of it underneath here that's about how close it's gonna get I'm figuring I'll get it down to like a matchstick and then the rest of it will be, uh, will be pretty good. Haven't cut out the windows and haven't cut out the door yet. Um, but right now I just want to get this fitted so I can get, uh, I can get this set up properly and uh, go from there. And right now that cowling is not permanently attached either. It's just uh, temporarily on there. I want to make sure I've got all my wiring. So one of the things I'm doing now is I'm actually going to run all my wires to the back, get that all set up, get them all prepped. And uh, that way, when I put the canopy on, I don't have to worry about getting anything back here. It's not a problem. And I only have to deal with the front. And I may just put the top on if I can. I don't know if I can do that, but I may put the top on 
and leave this off for now until I've got all my avionics done. But there you have it. It's uh, it's Boxing Day. Oh, actually not Boxing Day. Well, I'm jumping ahead. It is uh, the day after Thanksgiving, so it's Black Friday. Haven't been out looking around, but uh, wanted to get this done. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Okay, well, I'm finally back at this. I got the, the door piece that I wanted to put in, and so I'm gonna try and drill this out once again. I didn't redo the whole door, but I did take the back off, and I am replacing the bracket that is back here and attaching a new hinge. And this time I've been even more careful about making sure that spacing is good. So we'll see how this guy turns out um, and we'll go from there. But I figured I'd give it another shot. Anyway, we'll see how it goes in the next couple of videos. Cheers. Hey everybody, another quick update. It's been a little bit of a while, but I wanted to show this. Um, you know, as I mentioned in the slide, the previous video, the baggage door, um, it's still got a gap here, but it's not too bad. I'm figuring I'll leave it for the moment and see how that works out. The cover, this is my fourth fitting and here it's looking really good. I mean, I think, you know, it's still got a little bit of a gap here, but not much. I'll end up shaving this down just a hair more and see how that works. And then here you can kind of see how this is tapered up um, in here. Uh, I think you can see that, right, where it's tapered up. So that's looking pretty good. And then on the other side, um, a little bit of tweaking I still need to do here. The gap is a little more pronounced and I can actually push it down, but uh, I think if I trim some of this down a little bit more, maybe a little thick here, um, I think it'll come down nicely and I should be pretty good. I don't know if I'll get rid of the full gap here, but it'll be pretty close. Overall, um, it's, uh, it's getting there, starting to look really like a plane. And then also in the meantime, and maybe I'll share it in another video, what I had been working on is a lot of the avionics planning and the wiring. And so I've put together kind of a wire list of what I need to buy so I can get the wiring done. I wanna get the internal wiring completed before I permanently attach this canopy. The other thing I wanna do is I think I'll put the overhead console up here as well and I'll paint inside so that I've got all that done. Then I can attach the canopy. The inside of the canopy will be painted um, even though it's gonna have, you know, an internal, you know, fabric, at least it will you know, anywhere the fabric sticks out or doesn't miss it or it's not quite right, you'll still be able to, uh, you'll be able to see it. But that's it. And then also I can share um, on the avionics side, I've been using a package. I'll, uh, I'll put some details in that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in this video or the next one, but uh, as I've been building it out, I've been creating all of the objects to allow for putting all of the avionics in here. So. Um, if anybody wants that library after I'm finished, uh, more, than, more than welcome to uh, share that and save you a little bit of work. But anyway, there it is. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. You'll see here, I've actually gone out and added. I got this, uh, this belt sander from Harbor Freight. It wasn't very expensive, but boy, that really cleans up the edges really nice and flattens it out. So that makes short work of it. So that's another tool I've added. And then also from Harbor Freight, I ended up getting this uh, level. And you'll see here, I've got the sanding blocks on each end, and I'm using that to sand across the top, make sure it's flat. Anyway, I thought I'd share that as well. Cheers.